everybody. Bye. Disclaimer, she's not sick. She's got her some, some Gerard Way makeup on. Aw, yeah, you said him. I love him. From a band. My Chemical Mm-hmm. So she's not sick. She, um, she dyed her hair. And she's got her makeup on. Sorry, sorry. Oh my gosh, I touched her hair. Whoopsie dingle. It's sacrilegious. All right, so Bianca and I went to Goodwill today. And you guys will have seen the shop with me some other time before this. But she wanted to go ahead and film it with me. So she can show you what she bought. Well, well actually what I bought her. Yeah. <laughs> well, I'm going to work at Hot Topic in like three years. So. Oh, and also, if you guys can hear, um, my mom brought over a portable air conditioner. So that might be what you, well, that is what you hear in the background. It's not the fans anymore. It's that air conditioner. And it's about four feet away. But it feels nice mm -hmm. in being, being able to be in the garage. So... Thank you guys for putting up with all the fan noises. The, I just don't want to bring all this stuff inside, set up for a video, and then have to bring it all back outside. So, so thank you for putting up with the fan noises. But now we have the air conditioner. Okay, now, on to you. For the first thing, like the legendary emo I am, I bought the Frozen soundtrack. Because it's a good soundtrack. Even if it is from the original movie, but it's not from the original movie, it's from the Broadway musical, which makes it even is better. It? Yeah, 23 songs. It was not 23 songs. But if and you were to get that at Target, it would have been a good $19. Yeah. Maybe more because it's double um, disc. Oh, yeah. Um, so next we have one of my favorite. Oh, I just. I didn't hear it. You just one gave it away. One of my favorite shows ever. Um, it's always sunny in Philadelphia. I'm sure no one wants to hear me talk about my favorite shows. But it came with two discs and it's the best show ever. How much was it? It was $3.98. And it wasn't on sale. We didn't find one thing on sale. Well, we I never do. It, so. We never do. Okay. Next. Next. I got this for my friend because she loves Grey's Anatomy. I thought you got it for you. you. No, I got this for Caitlin because she loves Grey's Anatomy. I thought you got it for you because you said she watched it. I thought you wanted to watch it. No. That was not the reason. <laughs> she used me then. And then we have... Even though I have the these. two best... No, I don't want them for me because you won't let me keep them in, your, in my room. Well, forgive me um, for wanting to keep my stuff nice. Yeah, exactly. Um, we have two of the best pieces of literature and movie making ever created. <laughs> Twilight and new moon. Um, we're not Team Jacob in this household. Team Edward. Team Edward. Um, and that's it. I like Jacob. Don't get me wrong. Jacob, I don't. I I adore him. I think he's a scrumptious human being in that movie. However. Edward all the way. Edward all the way. He's all the way. so much of a here. And then I have this West Side Story. That's your record. second one, right? Ooh, my ooh, second ooh, one. That sound. <laughs> okay, go ahead. Um, Columbia. I, I just noticed it has this picture on the back. Um, and it's amazing and it's beautiful and it's going on my ceiling. It didn't have a price. So I think on the receipt it said a dollar eighteen. So, all right, mom's turn. Oh wait, no, you have one more thing. I have this shirt that my mom called ugly, but I think it's beautiful. What does your mom know? I live in like t-shirts. Yeah. So. You know nothing but I'm a, about fashion. No, I don't. I'm like a t-shirt ah. nerd. I wear a lot of t-shirts. T-shirts, tank I know tops, flip flops. I mean, I will never be caught wearing flip flops. I you can wear them, but I cannot be caught dead in them. I am Brendan Yuri in this place. Don't make people that wear flip flops feel bad. It's not nice. It's discriminatory against flip flop people. Yeah. Anyway, on to me. 
All right, so, like I said, we didn't find anything with the orange tag. Uh-huh. I don't even know what this is. And Bianca was, she was explaining to me, and I think I mentioned this to you guys before, the different little things that are going around, like on TikTok and stuff, right? The um, girls are showing their bedrooms and their, yes, their decor style. It's like actual, like, full-grown women. They look like teenagers. But well, not, like, well, you know what I'm yeah, saying. Yeah, yeah. I don't. And they have, like, different aesthetics, like cottage core which is basically like very, like they use a lot of lace, a lot of white. A she lot walks of around my house or the garage and she's like, that's cottage core mom. Like you're very cottage fruits. core. I'm like, ooh. And like the wicker baskets, mm -hmm. they love I saw those. That. Then if you, I have to show you then, um, D, her daughter, Jessica mm -hmm. has, remember she did the Disney, mm -hmm. we're watching her Disney um, channel that she did. Mm -hmm. She's the one I bought the Funko Pop from. Yeah. Um, she has a new channel, Sincerely Jessica, mm -hmm. where she's showing that kind of stuff. And that, she totally redid her room. And it looks just like that, that you're talking <gasps> about with the wicker oh baskets God. and stuff. She had, like, her Disney room. And then um, she's been, like, selling some of that stuff. That's how I bought mm -hmm. the Lilo thing. She looked, she's trying to be all professional. No, that's how I always sit. <laughs> and, um... She's got all kinds of stuff going on. I think you would like her Instagram. It, it It's like just like what you're saying. Yeah, I'm going to follow her. And then she was saying something about, what's the other ones? Dark Academia. Dark Academia, Light Academia. Light Academia is more like, you know, those very biblical, angelic um, Renaissance paintings you see? Yeah. It's like that as a person. And then Dark Academia is like those people that like go to, like, it's basically like Hogwarts as a person. That kind of stuff. Oh, that would be a cool one. Yeah, and they're all Slytherins. That would be a cool one. Huh. Okay, so she was explaining to me those different things, and when we were looking around, she's like, that's that, and that's that, and that's that. So I don't know what that is. <laughs> she says she doesn't know what this is. <laughs> it's a piece of pottery. I thought the glaze was very interesting. It's just a piece of, I mean, it's not signed. It's probably, you know, like a student piece or something. You know, just like a little planter something like that it's got a really cool glaze it was 2.98 again not on sale mm. so to me i would look at this and see they were trying to do be very sort of um it almost is like flying saucer esque mm -hmm. so it screams mid-century to me and in the 50s and 60s though i'm not saying that that's how old this is but in the 50s and 60s um, you know, they went to the moon, so that was super popular to have things like spaceships and sure they rockets. Went to the moon. Oh, we all stop know. it! We all know the moon landing was thick. Oh, oh, stop. Okay, the next thing I have: controversy, conspiracy. Shane, Jesse. <laughs> all right. Oh, this lady was. She was interesting, wasn't she? The cashier. Oh, yeah. She was, she's yeah. nice, but she didn't She talk. reminded me of um, the grandmother from Call Me By Your Name. Or the maid from Call Me By Your Name. Grandma Sorry, she name. bagged this up. It's a bisque figure. Look at me yawning. I'm tired. It's I a it's a bisque figure, but um, mm -hmm. so if you wrapped it in paper, you would get all the newspaper print all over it. But it's these snow owls. Would this be your cottage court? No, that is dark academia. They love owls. I think you could go it's both ways because it's white and brown. Yes, yes, yes. I could go both ways, but mostly. So we got these owls here, and on the bottom, doesn't that look like it says made in. USA. Oh, yeah, USA. I see it. The A went backwards. Made in the USA. All right. That's the only thing, only markings I see. Do you see anybody's name? Anyway, sometimes it's like. Nope. That's all I see. This was $3.98, and Snow Owls in particular do pretty well. So I keep looking at the wrong side of the camera. You kind of remind me of Edward Scissorhands right now. <laughs> I always get compared to him. <laughs> Johnny anyone. Depp is awesome. I love Johnny Depp. When she was little, she adored my first crush. Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory, the one with him in it. Yes. Oh my gosh. I should pull that footage from the iPod of you dancing and you went <laughs> and you like this up the pipe with your with your baseball bat. 
You were so cute. She was like three. That is a cute one, but we are not sharing that with everyone. Oh, okay. I bet they'd want to see it. They would want to see it. Put Thumbs your up. Story. Thumbs up if you want to see Bianca dancing so we, you won't go when she was like three. Okay, the next item I have. Okay, we're already at like 10 minutes. We ramble too much. If I was a YouTuber, I would be on tangents. My things would be hours long. I just cut so much out. Okay, so we got this, this is swan. This cottage core. We got this swan. It came with these marbly things on the inside. I don't really want those. Yeah, a little bit. And clean up your mess, please. Nope. Sorry. So, okay, so this is $3.98. It's not marked or anything on the bottom, but it does look like, you know, it's a hand-painted project. But it's still nice. Swan instead of a duck. So it's strictly colored for. You think? Yeah, it's very cutesy. Okay, we'll go with that. But it's not like kawaii, like kid core Japan. Yeah. Ugh. Kid core is also a thing, but I don't think that's your audience. There. All right. <laughs> Next bag. I didn't find very much there. I mean, I found some stuff, mm -hmm. but we checked through it and it wasn't worth like doo doo. Oh, these are cute. I have a pair. Let's see if she put them in the same bag. Sorry about the crinkling for those who it bothers. This is it. Okay. So. Nope, that's not it. Just kidding. This is it, I think. Yeah, okay, so I found a pair of these. These are really cool. Love the color. I love the anchor because I like, you know, shit. I didn't see if it was marked by anybody. I just thought they were neat. They're not marked and they don't look real old or anything. I mean, this might make you think so, the cool glaze, but the bottom makes me think not. But I got those for $1.18. Those are awesome. Next thing I got is this little piece. And it's funny because it is signed the Something Studio, Newport Ritchie, Florida, which is like a city around us in the Tampa Bay area. So we got these little kitties in a basket. How cute are they? It was $1.98. Am I boring you? Do you have somewhere to be? Caitlin, yeah. Oh, because you're done with your stuff. <laughs> you wanna go? I wanna go kittens. Oh, no, no, you're not going to anybody's Cardi, house. Cardi, I wanna go to Caitlin. Nope, no one's gonna sorry. Go. Here you go. So here's a little kitty basket. Oh yeah, I can't go to Caitlin's house. She doesn't want me to go there. She doesn't come here. <sighs> Okay. <laughs> Next thing I found, we got in there, what, maybe like 10 minutes after they opened? Mm -hmm. Why would you do that? Is that your Corona mask? Are you one of the Walmart shoppers? Mm -hmm. Anyways, uh -oh. I found this little guy, this little fridgy. It does have a chip on the lid. And it was a dollar eighteen. Woohoo! I think the opposite way, the blue with the white is a little more valuable than the white with the blue. That well, we need a thumbnail, Bianca. Oh, um <laughs> Alright, I just have one more bag and then I gotta find the match to that and then we'll be done. Actually, I have that bag. What is? What does she do here? I had an interesting cashier. Why oh she even like has an Italian accent? She was no. the maid from Call Me by Your Name. I don't think she had an Italian accent. It was more like a New York accent. No, Italian. Yeah. Oh, oh my God. Okay, so the next thing I have is a turkey. I found a couple of these last year and I sold both of them. It's made in Japan, $2.98. It 
it just doesn't have its spoon. So you would have put like gravy or something in the turkey and you can set it out for Thanksgiving. I don't like turkeys. <sighs> she doesn't like anything. Welcome to my world of a preteen. Preteen? I am like a month away from being a teen. Just still Gerard, 12 years old. Gerard Way is scared of me. I know. Ever heard of his song Teenagers? Next! I am a teenager. We have dun dun dun. There. Did what? Do you remember what I showed you? This price was when I looked this up. No. It was something crazy. So it was like a hundred and eighty. Yeah, it it was. It was something crazy. Um. So apparently this is well. This is McCoy. It says USA on the bottom, but someone had it listed as like something bamboo or bamboo wrapped or something and they wanted over a hundred dollars for it and because i took a picture because that's what i usually do i'll take a picture on ebay if i don't know the name of it i'll see what people are naming it and then i use the name and look it up in the solds because you can't look up a sold listing by a picture so i didn't do that i just looked at what they had it listed for um, like I said, it was only two ninety eight, so it's a little McCoy planter. And I was gonna say a bug came free, but that's not a bug. No, no worries. All right, the last two things we have. No, I think that I was about to sing, but I can get, sing. I can sing for all of you. Let me get this. I only have three more things. Here we go. So we found these in the metal part. They rearranged a bit of the store. These are kind of ah. heavy. Do you like squirrels? No. What do you like? Gerard God, leave these children these days. All right. So we got... <laughs> children back days were being married. We got... Yeah, you're right. You're, you're a pretty good kid. We have these metal... I was going to say a rooster. I need to go... I need a nap. <laughs> I am slut. We have these metal um, squirrels, and they're bookends. They were four ninety eight for the pair, which is good because sometimes they sell them singly. Can so you keep your books together? Yeah, you can put them on your shelf. I don't want them touching my books. Period. Because you don't want squirrels. I don't want squirrels. <laughs> but no, you can put them. They have all kinds of different ones, and they use them as decor. And if you only find one, you could use it and. Butt, up, butt your books up against the shelf and then use the one bookend. Be a normal person and use a candle. <sighs> anyway, so on the back of these, I shall just go on. What the heck does it say? 1976 SCC with a star. So we got those. And then now the last thing. These were kind of cute. I found these Mickey and Minnie milk glass mugs, Walt Disney Productions, and it's Pepsi Collector Series. Now I saw Mickey, I know I told you this, but I told you a lot of information in the store. I think Mickey alone sold for like eight or nine dollars. She's like, I did, but I don't think she was listening to me. But anyways, these were $3 a mug. They are... Oh. So, I got these... What did I say it was? Anchor Hawking Pepsi Collector Series Mickey and Minnie mugs. For $3.98 a piece. $3 a piece. So that is all, you guys. The paint on these are pretty nice. They're really nice, actually. And that is it. That is everything that we got from the, uh-oh. It feels like, is that a chip or it is a little chippy do? Oh, dang it. Oh, anyways, that's everything we got from the Goodwill today. Do we say, are you going to tell them to like, comment, and subscribe? Um, like, comment, and subscribe, babe. And Gabriel the other day said, lick and sub. <laughs> And everybody was laughing. Anyways, let me know down below. Yeah, do the thing that Shane does. 
I don't know what Shane does. I'll see you next time, my little cottagecore girls.